My name is Jonas and I'm the founder of Forsten Systems. In this video I'm going to show FS Wisdom running on the Cobra terminal. FS Wisdom is running over the internet and every user has an account on our servers in Stockholm. So you begin by logging in with your unique ID and password. Then you get to choose which case, which case you want to exercise on. We have different patient cases for different scenarios. The performed exercises can also be reviewed and playbacked on any terminal that is connected to the system. When the simulation starts, you switch over and view it on the main screen. Here you also take on the, your 3D glasses so you get the depth sensation when you're performing the exercise. This particular case is about uh, a patient having a partly impacted wisdom tooth in an angular position so you can't just extract it the normal way. The student has to remove some bone before accessing the tooth and then to divide it in parts by sectioning it and taken out with the elevator. The student here starts now to to section the, the tooth and probing now and then with the elevator. This is done by using the haptic device. The haptic device makes you feel the object where you see it and you can actually feel the difference between different parts of the tooth. So the NML takes longer time to, to carve into than the bone and you can feel when you go from NML to dentin, for example. The user has also two pedals. One pedal is controlling the speed of the drill, the other pedal is controlling the elevator or the switch between the elevator and the drill. All the time the computer is counting how much of the bone and the tooth you are removing and when you reach a certain point you're able to crack the tooth and remove the crown. The same applies to remove the remaining part of the root. You have to remove some more of the bone to be able to successfully use the elevator to get the root out. One popular feature among teachers is the ability to stop the simulation and rotate the x-ray based model that you are drilling into and see how you have performed from different angles. In this video it's a bit difficult to see but you can get a good uh, perception on how the student has done from the lingual side before he or she continues the exercise. Finally, the student is removing some additional bone to be able to extract the remaining part of the root. Mind you that in this simulation, the elevator is more of a tool than actually simulated. So the part where you extract the root is simplified. Here we can see on the side screen that the student has removed too much from the lingual side and the student maybe wants to redo this exercise or save it so their teacher can review it later and give feedback. The best thing about the system is that there's no patient harmed. 